This is Barry at Titans of CNC. But you already knew that. You may remember me from such films as Ball in the Box. Well, today we're bringing you another timeless classic. All right, so in the next five minutes, I'm gonna give you guys some knowledge on shell mills that'll last you a lifetime. We're gonna be using the Dodeca shell mill, and we love this tool here at Titans because it's such a versatile tool. With just a couple of inserts, we're able to cut almost every material that a normal machine shop will see on a day-to-day -day basis. Speaking of inserts, take a close look at these. There's 12 cutting edges, which means even after you dull one edge, you can flip the insert and reuse it 11 more times. These things just won't die. Now this tool is a tool that we consider a standard. This should be in every magazine in your machine shop. With just this one tool, we're gonna be cutting 6061 aluminum, 1018 steel, 316L stainless, titanium, and 718 Inconel. All right, so enough talking, let's get to it. All right, so we're getting started with 6061 aluminum. We're gonna be using our KC410M insert grade, and this is specifically for aluminum. We're starting at a surface footage of 4,000 and a chip load of 11 thousandths per tooth, which translates to 300 inches a minute. Now this is a two inch tool, and we're gonna be taking a 100 thousand step down and 1.33 inch step over. So now we're moving on to our 1018 steel. Now for this, we're gonna be using our KCPK 30 insert grade, and this is our general purpose grade that's good for everything from steel to stainless to Inconel and titanium. Now we're starting this 1018 with an SFM of 1500, and we're starting with a chip load of 22,000 per tooth, which puts us at 220 inches a minute. See, we cut through that 1018 like butter. And normally, this is where we start seeing in our comments people saying, oh, now try that in stainless. Well, next up, 316L stainless. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the same inserts we just used on the 1018 steel. I'm not gonna bother turning them or anything. We're just gonna use the same edges we just used. Now for the 316L, we're gonna go in with the starting surface footage of 600 surface feet and then 15 thou chip load per tooth. That puts us at 60 inches a minute. So as you guys can see, we just cut through that 316L like it was nobody's business. Now we're gonna move on to something a little tougher, titanium. Oh my God, these stupid editors put a camera right in front of my vice handle. You gotta be careful though, because otherwise they'll make me look even stupider in videos. With that talk, I'm gonna turn you into a turtle. <laughs> well, you ain't got much to do then. Get that dang thing out my way. Shut up, Barry. All right. All right, so now we're on the titanium. Now up till now we've been running dry, and that's just for the sake of filming. But now it's time to turn on our Blazer 735. Oh yeah! With materials like titanium and Inconel, it's super important that we keep our cutting edge cooled and lubricated. We're also switching over now to our KCSM 40 insert grade. We're gonna be reducing our step down to 50 thousandths, but we're gonna be still maintaining the 1.3 inch step over. For the titanium, we're gonna be using the SFM of 250 and a chip load of 15 thou per tooth. That's gonna put our feed rate at about 26 inches a minute. All right, let's get to cutting. All right. 
right, so we made it through our titanium with no problem. Now we're on the 718 Inconel. Now I happen to know that this piece of material was some super nasty stuff. So we're gonna be starting with a surface footage of 185 and a chip load of 12 thou per tooth. That'll put us at 16 inches a minute. Let's get her done. So we just gave you guys feeds and speeds that are going to work in your shop every day, but now let's take it 40% faster. All right, so there you guys have it. We just took this tool all the way from 6061 aluminum through 718 Inconel. This is the Dodeca shell mill from Kenametal. This is available on our store right now on promotion. And for $249, you can get the cutter body and a box of 10 inserts. Now I'm not saying that this is the best tool for every job, but this is a standard that every machine in your shop should have in it. If you're a job shop, you don't wanna to have to be changing tools for every job when you can just change out inserts. If you're a leader in your machine shop, have your younger guys document the feeds and speeds that we used in this video so they know where they can start out successfully. So I hope today's video was useful to you guys. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys again soon. Metal chips bring all the boys to the yard and my chips are bluer than yours.